Hello everyone, in this video we will guide you how you can create a bill of material on Transact. So first of all you need to go in production module for this. On your left hand side you will get production module option. Please click on this. Now once you will come in production module, so the very first you will come in production control center. You need to click on bill of materials just near that. Once you will click on bill of material, this is the list of bill of material which is already created. On your right hand side you will see option of create BUM, click on this. Now once you will click on create BUM option, a uh, format to define the bill of material will get opened in front of your screen. I have already created a bill of material for the display purpose, so let me switch the screen and display you that. So uh, here is the bill of material which I have already created. So please check in the very first you need to go ahead and provide the document name. Uh, the bill of material name then after the document number as it is on auto so it is coming automatically uh, you can very well use the customize option in order to make it manual or to define your own bill of material series now here you can define the finished good store uh, that in which store the finished good will go from which store raw material will come and in which store the scrap or reject items will go you can use add description, add comment in order to add any additional detail. We do have provided attachment option in order to attach the drawing or bill of material or any uh, supportive document. You can very well attach it into a uh, bill of material. Now, coming below, this is the BUM snapshot. So this BUM snapshot will come after you add the finished good and raw materials. So here, uh, the finished good is defined. So currently I'm creating a bill of material for needle valve. So you need to click on this and then after uh, you can select the needle valve or you can provide the item ID and then after select it. Do remember that always bill of material will be created for one quantity. The unit, the unit of measurement will come here and cost allocation. Cost allocation, why cost allocation is important and why it is 100 as because in multiple industries there comes the scrap part also uh, on whose, uh, which cost is also calculated in the finished good. So in order to reduce that, uh, you can very well use it like 100% or 50% of the entire raw material cost will be uh, defined into uh, finished good. Accordingly, you can provide a comment here. You can add alternate items. Uh, you can very well go ahead and select uh, from below that for which alternate item uh, can be used in this bill of material, the finished good. Now, coming below, this is the raw material segment. So you need to define the raw material that which raw material will be used in order to create the finished good. Do remember that always the quantity will be one and the raw material quantity will be defined as per one you can provide a comment or you can use move to row option in order to move it so uh, this rod i want to move it on the fourth row so what i can do i will just uh, click here and just put a four row and just click it please check now it is moved to the fourth row here is the alternate item option and through this tree option you can link a child bill of material or you can create a child bill of material so in multi-level bill of material you can use this feature to attach the child bill of material in the parent bill of material now going below you can define the routing or you can use the select routing option and you can add more routing option as well from this screen itself so you can just add more routing that which routing you want to add so this is the cutting routing i will just go ahead and selected from the manage option you can create a new routing or can search for the existing routing or can edit the routings now going below uh, you can define the scrap and accordingly how much cost allocation is there so two percent cost allocation is there so as i mentioned earlier that here is the 900 percent you can define 98 percent and accordingly the finished good cost will get calculated you can define that how much labor charge machine charge or electricity charge will be included you can use save draft if you need to uh, if that bill of material is not finalized or you can use save bum in order this block material is finalized so i will click on save bum please check uh, the quantity is required so i will quickly just go ahead and fill up the quantity here so uh, i have defined the quantity as per one and now i will click on save bum so this BUM is now created. Please check uh, as defined the BUM is being displayed and here the BUM snapshot is available which will define or which will give you a visibility that raw material processing finished good and scrap is there. Uh, you can very well use the BOM cost in order to check the bill of material cost. Please check accordingly the cost will be calculated. 
uh, you can use the calculated using average price, FIFO price, latest price, default price. I hope this video will be helpful to you in checking or creating a bill of material. Have a good day.